it's Shayna with Dancing Daisy Designs and in my last video I painted this cute table right here um, and showed you how to use DIY paint products. Well I'm going to add even more fun to this table today using Iron Orchid Designs Transfer and this one is called Frond Botanical and as you can see it's got a whole bunch of really cute like fern fronds and things of that nature on it. So I'm gonna be using that to make this even cuter. These transfers are so gorgeous and easy to use. Wait until, wait until you see, I mean, and the impact, wow. So this one is in a tube and that's kind of like the old style. They're transferring over to pads so it's a little easier to ship and to handle. Um, this one is, a, is another one that I have and it has different sheets inside of it. This one has four sheets, some of them have six. Um, and it's kind of like meant to be where you can put it, we can put it together in one big piece, just like it came on a big roll like this. Or you can cut them apart and you can piece it together and you can make your own creation. So they're really versatile too, and they have so many different ones. I mean, a great, really great variety. So this is what the frond one looks like, and this is the roll. And as you can see, you get lots and lots of transfers on here, big ones and little ones, all different kinds. And it comes on this paper backing. Um, let me see if I could show you here. So you've got, this is the clear part is what has your transfer on it and it has this great grid on it to help you like line it up and keep things straight. And then it's got this backing. This backing is kind of like a wax paper kind of thing and it protects your transfer from um, sticking to itself or other things. And once it sticks to it, it something, it, it's pretty much stuck. And so you wanna be really careful with that. Um, because you don't want to mess up your transfer. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a look at this transfer. I'm going to look at where I would like to put pieces on my table and then I'm just going to cut out the pieces that I want. And I got some blue tape so I can kind of tape it on so I can visualize you know how I want it to go. You don't have to do that but it, I find it helpful. Okay I cut out some pieces and I placed them on the table kind of where I want it. I decided that I wanted to do just like one you know, one corner on the top and one corner on the bottom. This little piece right here, I'm gonna put him in there somewhere, I just haven't decided yet. So he's still sitting on the side. Attaching the transfers is really super easy. Um, I taped it down so I could visualize where I want it on the table, but now it's time to remove the backing. So I'm just gonna lift up one of my taped edges, pull the backing out, and then place the transfer back in the spot where I wanted it. As soon as I push this down and it sticks, we're committed. So I just kinda like to go across with my hand and just kinda stick it down a little bit. If you have an edge, here we're gonna go over the edge. So I'm not going to stick it right there, I'm just going to stick it to the top for now. And each transfer comes with this little applicator stick, it's just a, a nice plastic stick. And all you do is you just hold down the edge and just rub. Just rub it on. And you can kind of see it start to release just a little bit. But you want to make sure that you get it rubbed nice and good. I like to go in more than one direction. My tape is in the way, so I'm just going to peel that away. To test it, just grab an end really gently and just kind of start pulling it up. And you'll see on your transfer, if you missed a spot, it'll still be on there. Just put it back down and rub it back on. And then you can just kind of start to pull it up a little bit as you go. And you'll see where you might have missed some as you go along. Okay. 
Once you have your transfer completely down, you want to burnish it. And what that is, is just basically making sure that it's pressed down everywhere so no parts of it are gonna peel up or get torn off. So you could take the backing that you just took off and just take that and just kind of rub it just like that just to make sure that it's nice and stuck everywhere. Okay, this one right here is gonna kinda go around the corner of the leg. And it's really simple, you do the exact same thing. Um, just be cautious because you want it to wrap around. So, I'm gonna take the backing off. Decide where, exactly where I want it. And then I'm just gonna kinda stick this top part down. I'm just gonna start rubbing from the top down or the bottom up, whichever is easier. And then start to peel it up. The ones with less detail come up a lot faster and easier. So now I'm going around a corner. I'm gonna untape it so I have more movement. And I'm just gonna kinda start rubbing it around the corner. And there you have it. See how easy that was? Now see how it's not stuck down all the way? Can you see that right there? So that's why it's important to burnish it. So I'm just gonna take the backing and because we're going around a corner, I'm gonna be careful and I'm gonna stick it down. This section right here is layered. So I have these, I want them to go underneath this big one. And so you wanna work from the bottom up and yes, you can layer these. They are so good. So I'm just gonna pull the big one back and then I'm going to put down these two small ones. So I've got those two down and now we're going to replace this one back where we want it. Well, I'm all done and it turned out super cute and I knew it would because these transfers are amazing. Um, I'm actually using it in my house right now because I need a coffee table, but I couldn't find one that I really liked. And so I just painted this one and put it there for now and I couldn't be happier with it. I actually used a second transfer on this because it needed a little something extra extra. And so I added this little butterfly and there's a little bug that you'll see in the close-up picture, so stick around for those. And I used um, the entomology transfer for that. And this one has a whole bunch of like bugs and butterflies and frogs. So I used that one too. And if you want to try these out for yourself, I have them available at dancingdaisydesigns.com. So go over there and check out the selection, uh, among many other things. And um, if you like this video, make sure to hit the like button down below and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.